Our oh, Father, we thank you for such words of consolation and comfort. Thank you for knowing us by name. Thank you, King of Glory, for this last night. I see the rain. Amen. I see you pouring down blessings because you are eager to bless the people. You are eager to usher the people into the realm of the miraculous. Amen. And this morning, which is the early hours of this morning, every demonic assembly around this vicinity and within the community, we hereby bless immediate embargo on them, they shall not gather. Amen. We cannot be here talking about him that owns the earth and some cowards are meeting with demons to plan wickedness and so by the authority invested on me as a daughter of Zion I hereby close all covens Amen and command all juju priests houses and their devices to fail Amen let the power of the Holy Ghost take the entire atmosphere and stir it up for the blessings of the people whose time is now in Jesus name Amen <coughs> carry your Bible the Bible in full. Open to Isaiah chapter 14. Kapoka Isaiah, you old woman now. Verse 21 and 22. Ofa, I might be a carrier of Yeba. Isaiah. 14. Where Isaiah, are you there? Are you there? Okay, stand up. Let us read it together. Carry your Bible, stand up. Please, when I say stand up, stand up like a soldier. Apostle, my brother, thank the way come. Prepare slaughter for his children. Oh, you are not reading. Okay, one go. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. Verse 22. For I will rise up against them, say ye the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant, and son, and nephew, say yet the Lord. I am afraid of that passage. Apostle, I don't know how you feel. But sit down. Just for a little while. Sit down for a little while. And I want you to deliberate on this passage. Apostle, God says, I'm going to cut off. And he began to mention relatives. Relatives, he must cut off. And I just pray that your house will not be one of those. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that you will not experience any of this. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Stand up again. Manada Kara. 
Are you standing up? I made a good. Let's read Amos chapter 5. Yeah, I go with Amos. See what it is. Verse 8. Can we go? One go. Seek him that make it the seven stars and Orion and turn it the shadow of death into the morning and make it the day dark with night that call it for the waters of the sea and pour it them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning, sit down. So, dear, I'll be speaking on breaking out from family cycles of troubles. Breaking out from family cycle of troubles. Breaking out from family cycle of troubles. Like I said, I am not going to dwell long. But our main text that was Isaiah 14 is telling us how family cycle problems associated with the family can lead to a lot of slaughter. <coughs> and how God watches spirit in the spirit realm to prepare slaughter for children, innocent children, innocent people born into families as a result of the things that their fathers did. spirit. Now, it says, prepare the slaughter. That is, there are families, there are homes that, that must face slaughter. So, what do we see in the physical state? What do we see? Because this is the preparation in the spirit state. And he says, why they must prepare the slaughter is because of the iniquity of the fathers. So in the spirit, in the physical state, we, we see some families dying, people dying almost every time. So they keep dying. Any small thing, somebody is dead. Any small pain, somebody is dead. Any small uh, discomfort, somebody is dead. Now, when we see that, don't touch it physically. There is a response of God as a result of foundations. So the foundation of a home, of a family, is actually the determinant factor for what kind of things you are going through in this present life. So when the Bible, the Bible says, so that if I allow them to live, they will rise. They will become formidable. So it will not seem as if their fathers and great-grandfathers and whatever they were worshipping had offended the Lord. So God says, I won't allow them to rise. In other words, I will not allow them to get to honorable position before they will get there. Before anything, when I say you hear some people, they just die, their promotion came the next week. They just died, something they were expecting for years landed because they have been spiritually restrained, forbidden from enjoying certain things as a result of the foundation. <laughs> Now, when the Lord said, I 
I, the Lord, I will make sure these people don't arise. You know, when the Lord said, I will be the one to hinder, then it makes me to have understanding that nobody can fight against God. It's not demonic, demon, demon. But this one is as a result of maybe idolatry in some homes or whatever things they did, violence. It has given them a wrong foundation and does not allow the present generation to enjoy. Apostle, let me come to the Bible. Ami, Ami, me now. I'm a Ami. 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 Brethren, this is not witches, so this is not demons of your father, so I don't know many more so but God Himself reacting to the way and manner your family over the years had not had anything to do with him. I mean, I'm a kenny now. I talk before making your brother has decided to rise up against your home. I am a character against that family you found for because the bible says he, he, he is the god of all mercy so he does show mercy but when he is punishing he punishes to the third and fourth generation of them that hate him now, what can you do to pacify god how can i pacify God. The native doctors that the four kings, the four lords or five lords of of the Arab Palestine came and said to them, he said, the God of the Jews, if you must send this their ark of God to them, don't send it how? Empty handed. In other words, they were saying he likes sacrifice. So begin now to offer sacrifices that will permit, that will allow, that will enable the chariot or the or, sorry, the yes, the, the cart that will carry the ark to travel. Because if you don't do it, all of you will finish in the land. <laughs> So when God begins to mention names, he begins to mention families in a city, in a country. He begins to mention and he starts saying, I will kill relatives. So you see a place, the cousins, the nephews, they suffer the same fate. They suffer the same fate. Now why why that? Sometimes they can do they can if it has to be academic frustration, God does not want any enlightenment to enter that family. You will see that no matter how they struggle to go to school, they can't make it to the university. Because God has already will in the spirit state that they can never have any enlightenment because that will be enhancement for them. And when he says, I will cut even remnant, that is, even if it is only one child that is remaining, God says, I will still go after that one. Until I make sure none exists. I was saying that if my eye could get to this, I'm young so. But God will carry that young so go forward. I was saying that I saw that talk when the cycle that all your uncle's children are having the same problem with you, all your auntie's children are having the same problem with you, your second uncle the same. This is it. So it has become a cycle that troubles that particular home, family, or community. Apostle Bukuma will say, Mfra, you know, you know, can you get a I can have your can you came out? I can have a can you on your camera. I can have a can you come on your you came from a guy son through who came from a sonny. I yawn back a family. So God 
He himself says he will cut them off, cut off nephew, cut off cousins, cut off nieces, cut off uh, mother, cut off fathers. So it is a cycle of destruction as it gets to the time God appoints, somebody will rule. Then they will cry, oh, cry, oh. Then they will misbehave, oh. Go to a native doctor, oh. Go to prayer houses, so oh. Bury things, so oh. When it comes again at another time, because you cannot pacify God through demonic means. Another one will drop dead, and it keeps going. And maybe this one is that women don't marry in that home. Or even if they're married, they will be divorced, and all of them will return. Or it is that they cannot, the men cannot live longer than... 40 something years. Anyone that lives up to 50, they said, I won't try though. He tried though. But I was the oldest. No, that is a cycle of trouble that must be stopped. Apostle, can you remember Satan? I will go to some Ayanayan. I will go to some Ayanayan. I can't get back to the family. I will be a Mikini and if you're a bang and bomb. I'm not in the woman. I can't speak my neck. My work will be in my bang. I will rock. My wound in a woman rock. A kaibo. A kao sempo. Abasero di yonga yare sen muburu fagoro. Koru keme ke di ben. Aru nama ke di mon. Din di suho. I yare sen ke basi. Apostle mo kira asem mo. E ka iso yon angantum. Ufe na basi. Aga ka iso ororo. So tonight. Okono yomi. I have not come to preach long message. Apostle di yari kwa yare ito. But I have come to stop cycles of problems in homes. Ari yari tre. Mfranfok. Aru ndion ndion. Cycles of things that trouble your life most. Let's rise up. Let's rise up. Now I'm not saying pray, don't pray. Apostle I want you to move like 10, 15 steps away from where you are. And position yourself and stand until I tell you what we are going to do. Saki padro, or if it kai tie kerero ke fomaga, ama asme ro tuakda ke posla ya uro kosebo nam. Ipadro, or if it tuakda. Ten steps, fifteen steps, then stand still. Ipadro, ipar if it tuakda. Brethren, you may not have the history, but the repercussions are real. You don't know what is in your foundation. But you are seeing a cycle of problem. A cycle of particular diseases. My brother slumped and died. My sister slumped and died. My nephew slumped and died. My cousin slumped and died. Everybody that dies has the same history that you know. And they are all related to you. Nieces, nephews, all that, cousins, cousins, brothers. So all these are all from a particular circle of family. Oh, the men don't do well at all. Me, sir, I, that is in liberty, they are seeing me that I am very rich because I came to church. So you are like what? The light of the family. Yet you know this is not the level. You yourself, you know. Though they see you that you are even the only one. But you know that it should be something higher, greater, better than where you are. A friend and got on for can I mean, I'm an orphan. I do a 40 year early bad to me. A 40 can have a two one. I for me, you know, I'm more can never eat. I can fork up a phone. I for me, you know, kid info. Kid only take one hand for bar. So we want to end this cycle. You are literally friend and you know, maybe it is madness. I can be that from time to time it will spring up. Kini kini ilara rama wo. From time to time it will spring up. Kini kini ya wadi. It is a cycle of problems that affects the family. Adam frau fok. Adam wandi wandi na frangu fok. And you can stop that cycle in your household just today. Ameka mani tre mfrangu fok mfrem. 
Maybe it has to do with deafness, you know, on one side of the ear. Maybe it has to do with the position of diseases that will eventually take you to the grave. Maybe it has to do with poverty and hardship difficulties so that no matter all your moves get stuck up somewhere, actually it is spiritually remote. That is what you are saying. Because God is visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children. When we were reading lament, the book of Lamentation, he says that our fathers sin and they are not. But we the children are bearing the consequences. And that remains as long as that is around them because of demands in a you know in 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 idol idol worship can i say because of certain days and certain seasons that were chosen for great and high sacrifices to such deities and god himself said i'm going to reward you according to what you have sown I will reward your family. Your children. Now, when it is time that you used to celebrate that thing. God will permit that thing to consume your children. And the children, if they don't have the history, they will be crying. They will start saying, is this one? They are looking for the immediate reason or cause. Whereas this thing has ancient family history. God wants to redeem you from such cycle in the name of Jesus. Amen. What killed your auntie? Oh, one. Yes. And what killed your uncle? And killed your cousin. And has killed two of your nephews. Will never see you. Amen. That mental state, disturbances, that mental disturbances. That is in the family. From time to time, it springs up on. Un unexpected fellow. Kini kini, anya wado wado, abo miki kerege kirem. By the spirit of this ministration, that cycle must be stopped. Amen. Utro ba kana ba? The cycle of not having children. Anya ro ya moni ya kani nito. Or you have children when it is a, a female child is alive, when it's a male child is aborted or oh. dies at birth. So you keep having that pain. That is how another of your cousin is having. That is another of your sister somewhere is having. So it is a cycle that will not permit male children to be born through your family and fellows. All those cycles, the Lord is interested in ending them when you are ready because you cannot fold your arms and allow the disaster consume you and you did nothing when you do nothing nothing will happen but when you do something to prevent it and you do it right the god of heaven will honor you for it to come to pass <laughs> Because God created the stars and gave them names. Now God can 
God can change your situation no matter how dark your family had been had been over the years. They can you can you can be that shooting star. You can be that Orion. You can be that shooting star that will brighten the family once again. Because he knows you by name. He can pick any of the great stars he has created. And he says, I want a look yes, for you to be like this star. That's why we read Amos chapter 5. In that verse 8. That tells us about the stars. And how he created them. And how he knows them by name. And he began to call the great ones. You can be that great star shining in your family. Ending darkness in your family. Stop. You can stop the power of evil from operating in your family. Now, open your eyes with this prayer. You don't go close eye. Open your eyes. But concentrate. You can look down by to concentrate. What cycle of life have you noticed? You know, so in some families, it's like this. They hate themselves. So you can see brothers, children, and another brother's children. They don't even greet. They do as if they don't know themselves. Okay. If, if a brother is in the village, the other one will not go. It's a cycle of trouble because they know that if people unify, that the strength will be, will be strong and you can do a lot. So because of that, they put plant a goal of bitterness. This brother is bitter against his brother. The other one is bitter. When they want to talk against themselves, they talk as if they are grave enemies. You say, I will do, you will see, I will kill, I will eliminate. So that, it can be that cycle. You notice that none of your relatives, none of your brothers, especially directors, none of them is relating well with one another. <laughs> Now, all those things are the things we want to handle. So, as you think, first, can you isolate the deity that was worshipped in your family? Directly by your grandfather and down, down your family history. What of the community? What is the deity that they so fear and reverence when they want to talk about that deity you see them put some sign of respect yet nothing is working for them begin to break yourself out number one way of gaining this kind of deliverance is to acknowledge the true situation all your children are graduates but they have they have no jobs you see them this one has traveled to Portacot, this one has gone to delta this one has gone to lagos this one but when each time you call them the story is the same delta you they, they themselves will look for their cousins the same story. 
All that can end if you can acknowledge. So if you acknowledge, then you know it's like somebody knowing that he has fever. So definitely, he's going to look for how to cure the fever. So if you can acknowledge it, it means that you have understanding. It means that you really want to deal with it. Now come out, come out. Mention names of deities. Mention things that were abominable because if you read verse 19 god says it has happened to them because of those abominable things they were doing so god that is why i said he wants to put them in the grave because of the abominations those abominable things we did those things that they worship those deities that they place ahead of god those things that have become our surnames those demonic names that we are now even answering them with all pride we can break out we can break out but first you need to acknowledge open your mouth begin to command loose yourself from the family from the community from the village from the clan the clan deity the family deity the compound deity the household deity as much as you know break it up break it up break it up break it up break break up break up break up break up break up Open your mouth, break out. Come if out you out. don't know, ask God to help you, help you, help you, lose you, lose you. Because you don't know, you don't have any name, you don't have anything, but you see this cycle. I don't for any medium. Come me. No. I can talk more for. I can talk. I can talk. Then tomorrow you're going to be home. Copy them for sure. If you're going to for care, care, and them. I make America put on seal. In Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. In the book of Amos chapter 5 verse 8. Can Amos he it He says seek him that made the seven stars. That means amongst all the stars that God created. There are seven outstanding stars that are very great that occupy vast, you know, they are, they are large, they are big, and they are placed there for certain times, purposes, either in judgment or in blessings. Then, Amos says, seek that God. Then he says again, that is the God. That is that same God that can turn the abominable things of your family into the morning. In other words, God will bring your family out of that darkness that they had been meshed inside brings them up and they receive a just a very brand new day spirit state yeah, yeah. Yeah. now all that is god ending your family crooked family cycles that keep 
repeating itself, you know, after a long time you hear, is this, is that. After that, you hear. so when people want to put things about your family together, they have a full thing to show, to tell. Some, they don't know where the destruction is coming from, but they can say, so everything, eh, dead, 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 or poverty, poverty, or casualty, some, yeah, your, bro your brother is bad reading. The sister is bad reading. The, uh, the uncle is bad reading. Almost everybody is being anything. You are being crippled to the ground, just bram, like that. The, as if the bones are crushed. So we need to tell God. We know that these things exist in our families and that the abominations that you punish and extend your anger even to three, a third and fourth generations. But we want to plead that we have come to embrace Jesus, who is our light. Hallelujah. And that God should have mercy and break us out completely from family affiliations, from those strings, from those things that still tie us to them, from those things that still make those spirits to locate us. If we have chosen the spirit of Christ, it's a different spirit. Let the spirit of our ancestors, of our family, of our community, of our clan, of the environment where we live, let it leave us alone. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. A frefen men quang and quang a edu. I can make it in a canama. I don't for it, young. Can pour me moreover. Near a foe, I can be them for a bong. Siaro for marrying a mad Christ. I can run tongue. You turn body them. Near a for a rumor. I recommend them for me. I can for so see do. Bomb at the pe. And I'm a make sure. Keep my musu of yen. I can smack my tre. A possible book. The proxio. Bon, I can see them for. In Jesus' name, Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That's why I don't like people crowding on that lane because I wanted you to move out free. Please, let's give those people a chance. Let them move forward because we want to make a warfare now. We want people to stand in groups. We want to make people stand in groups. So those of you inside there, please, those of you inside there, just come so that we can form the groups to do which this warfare. If you want a conspirator, apostle of your city on a case of warding coming, let me that may work to get to. Okay. Let's group. This group of people just group like this and stand here. Move a little, stand here. Please stand in a circle. When you group, you stand, even if it is uh, uh, two round the circle of circles. Do that. Then I need another group here too. Please stand around. Yes. No, no, don't go there. This one. Here. Another one. Then I need another one here. I need another one here. Please make it lash. Make it extend it. Extend. Go there. Go. Excuse me. Keep going. Go ahead. Extend. Extend. Come, sister. Join this one because I, brother, that is why I say move forward. Yes. Yes. Eh, eh, eh. That group. Join this because that group. Yes. Yes, come join. Extend, just go. Then do another one round. Take another round one again. Yes. Please, this one is too small and too close here. Yeah. Move forward a little. Mm -mm, you don't understand me. Come, we won't do like this. You, eh, join this one. Let it be large. Let it, please, go, move, for, move forward. Move forward. All people and, and move. Move forward. Then I need another circle inside again. Another. Okay, are you holding somebody in a circle? Are you? Please form another one there. Form another round this thing there. Okay. Form another circle there. Please make sure you have joined a circle. 
like these people are too small to be you don't understand you are too too small so you better plant yourself inside there with one large large plant yourself there please this one is small these people join the end. join the end. When you join extend, when you join extend, close that. See, see, Elizabeth, close that gap. Join here, please extend, extend. Uh -huh. You know that if you do, if you are not joining and you are not doing what we are asked you to do, and if you don't stand in a circle. You are not doing what we are asking. Please, I don't want three, four people to hold hands, five people to hold hands, ten people to hold hands. So if you have a small group, turn and join. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, we are calling this one corporate warfare. How are we calling it? And the reason for this corporate warfare is so that we can end cycles of uh, family cycles of problems that are very troublesome. It can be death, it can be poverty, it can be hardship, it can be barrenness, it can be miscarriages. And they reflect on us as causes. Of course, they are causes. And any time any good thing comes our way, Instead of us to en enjoy that good thing for long, immediately that good thing comes, not long. Bad news will come and snatch away the good news, and then that bad news will linger and stay and stay until everybody will feel the impact. Do you understand what I am saying? Yes. So because of this, then tell me, we want to end this cycle. And there are different procedures. So this is our second procedure now. To end this. Now, as you hold somebody, now begin to declare, make declarations. And dissociate the people you are holding, not yourself. I will say for more. Tell God whatever is their family history. And they don't even know as much detail as they should know. But the God that leads Helen Pavio into these discoveries should use the same spirit to break you out. And I will come spirit out and finish to break them out. Now that is the way you will pray it. Pray for another person, not for yourself. Out of darkness, 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 
out of curses, out of curses, out of curses, out of reproaches, out of reproaches, out of reproaches, out of darkness, out of darkness, out of reproaches, out of darkness, out of reproaches, out of darkness. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to plead the blood of Jesus. Jesus. As much as you can try to call it at least up to 50 times. At least 50 times. If you can call more, it's good. But at least let it not be less than 50 times. Are we ready? Begin to plead the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, 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 blood of Jesus over my brother, over my sister, blood of Jesus over your family history, blood of Jesus over the deities, block them, blood of Jesus, pursue them, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, chase them, chase them, chase them out, blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, give them bad signal and alert. Blood of Jesus, 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 chase them away, chase them out, push them out. Push them out, uproot them out, uproot them out, uproot them out. Blood of Jesus, 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 blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Father, every foundation that was abominable that promoted and celebrated some other deities and not you, the God of heaven. We send the thunder of the Lord Amen. to scatter such foundations Amen. and to extract our names that had been registered into them as those to suffer the penalties, Amen. as those to suffer the repercussions. Amen. Extract our names, O oh God, Amen. out of such broken foundations. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All the cycles of troubles, there are some months they just present hatred. No matter what you do, people hate. No matter what you do, people just hate you. There are times it presents itself with bones complications, bowel complications, heart complications, kidney complications, liver complications. Some it alters the hormonal system. And it can be traced to certain kind of rituals they were doing and certain things they were using. Father, here comes a generation of children oh. that lack oh. full operations, knowledge oh, of full Jesus. operations. But we have you, the God that was yes. before that family was even came into yes. existence. Father, for our sake, O oh God, let us not be tied to such foundation. Amen! Having embraced Christ, Christ is our foundation. 
The Bible says, for there is no any other foundation other than that which has been laid, which is Jesus Christ. Father, let this be our real foundation. So that in tracking history, O oh God, we shall be tracked through Christ unto Adam in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We use the blood of Jesus to compensate for all manner of sacrifices of blood. Let the blood of Jesus that is speaking better things than the blood of Abel. Let it be that blood that will avail for us. Let the cycle be broken. Amen. Let the cycle of problems be destroyed. Amen. Let the cycle of troubles be destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We shall live and not die. Amen. Our children shall live and not die. Amen. We shall begin to succeed in greater dimensions. Amen. Our story has to change. Amen. We will no longer be the object that people will come to sympathize with. Amen. But rather we shall become testimonials. Amen. As many whose heads have already been marked for death before December ends, before January, as soon as January comes, and between January and February, Father, by this ministration, I remove as many that have been tacked for death, I remove the tack, and I command them into freedom. Be free, be free to live, 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 be free to live. In the name of Jesus. Every cycle as it turns and turn and comes to the time. They shall meet with frustration. Amen. It shall no longer click Amen. in the spirit realm and in the physical state. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. But rather, we will plant vineyards and eat of it. Amen. We will sow seed and harvest them. We will live long and testify. Amen. We will succeed in all we do. Amen. The males shall not be, the male children shall not be sent to the grave in their early states. Amen. Neither shall the women be humiliated in marriages. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Like that star. Oh God. Let everyone here that is obediently serving you be a shining star. Amen. Unquenchable star. Amen. An ever beaming star. Amen. In the name of Jesus. From your mother's side, from your father's side, we sink all such powers. Amen. We sink them into the bottomless pit. Amen. 
and we roll a hard rock and seal the top of the pit. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All the causes and wicked pronouncements against this generation for you to be here all such wicked pronouncements are hereby completely destroyed and taken out of your way in the name of Jesus Amen let the strength of the spirit of the ancestors fail. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I sprinkle on them the blood of Jesus. This is an identity with Christ. Amen. That they shall not be hot. Amen. Even in your anger, O oh God, you shall preserve them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now you are going to your city. Before you go to your city, you will congratulate people. You shake hands with people. Ya ka item for me so ka. Ana ko me wubok abo mos ame songo. Congratulations and jubilation. Jesus has conquered the works of Satan. Oh yeah. Oh, my Jesus, congratulations. Oh, congratulations and jubilation. Jesus has conquered the box of Satan. Oh, 